Another commonly used coordinate system is the Universal Transverse Mercator or UTM coordinate system. Let's review what a transverse mercator projection looks like. It's one where we're projecting onto a cylinder and the cylinder is oriented perpendicular to the axis of the earth. So that, the, so that what's touching the cylinder is one line of longitude. Along that line of longitude, we would have zero distortion, which is a good thing. And as we move away from that line of longitude, we would get more and more distortion. One way to minimize this distortion is just to limit how much longitude we look at in any particular map projection. So instead of showing all of the longitude on the map shown to the right here, we could, for example, just show three degrees of longitude to the um, east and three degrees of longitude to the west of that central line there, that central meridian that has no distortion upon it. And if we do this enough, if we take that cylinder and keep rotating it around the globe so that each time it's touching a line of longitude six degrees different than the, the last time, we would be able to create all 60 of these universal transverse mercator map projections for the world in such a manner. In this case here we can see it's divided from 1 north through 60 north. Each one of those is 6 degrees wide, so in the end we would be covering all 360 degrees of longitude. And then there's another grid for the south, um, from 1 degree south to 60 degrees south, which um, are divided at the, at the equator line. So each of these, if we looked at it on a map, would, um, would decrease in width as we move towards the North Pole, if we're north of the equator, or decrease in width as we move towards the South Pole, if we're south of the equator. Um, we can see here what these, um, what these X and Y coordinates would be. So the easting would, um, for this point here, would be about 397 degrees because these things are approximately 500,000 meters apart, but we move the zero point from right on this line out to this location here so that um, this is a zero point and then we're starting to um, increase our easting as we move off in this direction here and increase our northing as we move up from this point to here. So as we go up all the way to here and then over this far, we've gone up by 4,922,900 4, meters and we've gone east by 397,800 meters. Um, if we look at where these various UTM zones are throughout the United States, this is what they look like. So Oregon is contained in um, UTM zones 10 and 11, and by the time we get over to the East Coast, we're in UTM zone 19.